Previously on Dance Moms, we never discussed you forgetting your dancer running off the stage. When you least expect it, I'm gonna throw you out there to do it. You are representing my entire career. The pressure is on you, but I need to get over it. They've been jealous since Maddie from day one, and they still are. We wanted you to say to her, why did why you, did you lie, lie? lie? I keep telling you, it's tough getting to the top. It's even harder to stay there. So don't go out there and make any mistakes. I am Me and Christy. Christy and I! You idiot! Christy and I! Coming up on Dance Moms. Done! You. I told you to do it for today. These mothers, the way they talk to you, I think it's awful. When those women say bad things about you, it hurts my heart. Please welcome Cage. Thank you. <laughs> You walked into this room just as sluggish and boring as you walked out on that stage. Zero energy. When my girls step on stage, they're slugs. They walk on stage, they do the routine, and as the two and a half minutes go on, you can see their stamina decline. You have to come out there with energy. You can't get halfway through the number and then peter out. You're boring. So, at the bottom of the pyramid, Maddie. I don't feel that Maddie deserved to be on the bottom of the pyramid because she rocked the group dance. I couldn't keep my eyes off of her. She came out with a bang and she ended with a bang. But, you know, everybody has to have a chance to be on the top of the pyramid. Maddie, you had an opportunity to dance. That didn't happen. They announced you and you're bawling in the audience. That is unacceptable behavior. You're nine years old. When opportunity knocks, open the door. I was the very first one on the bottom of the pyramid, and I didn't want to let her down, and I think I did. Next, Mackenzie. Mackenzie, your routine was a winning number. You were 10. I don't do 10. Next, Paige. You went out there, you look great, you forgot a step. You can't forget a step. Brooke, Brooke, you're here because you give me this much. I don't see this effervescent personality. You see this fake girl style. You're concentrating so much to not screw up the dance. You can't have fun out there. Next, I have Nia. Nia, again, you're here because you showed responsibility, you quit fooling around, and I didn't have to hear your mouth all day long. Yes? And on top of the pyramid again is Chloe. Chloe, you did your solo. But listen to me, I want more. This week, we are going to the energy dance competition in Chicago. So we had a great competition the last time we were in Chicago, but we didn't win. I'd like to win. Nia, you and Mackenzie, We'll be doing a duet. Paige, you have a solo. It's not a reward. You can screw up your own dance by missing the choreography, but you can't mess up other people. Brooke, you also have a solo. Chloe, your solo is called Unchained. But you know what the rule is. You're not in class, no solo. So we need to figure out what went on last night. I had three faculty members come and tell me Where's Chloe? Why isn't Chloe in class? She was at the doctor. But you need to have some type of common courtesy or at least say, hey, I'm taking my kid to the doctor. I'll bring a doctor's excuse. I have one. Good. Now, girls, I look at this pyramid and I don't even want to do a group dance because you're lazy, you're lifeless, and you don't give me 150%. Now, this routine is about zombies because that's what I think you are on stage. You get out there and you're like a zombie. You're like sleeping half the time. Holly, you're not working anymore. You have all the time in the world. So, you are in charge of the costumes. For the group number? Yes. 
I am not looking forward to creating the costumes for this group number. Costuming is not my specialty. All right, moms, you're dismissed. Holly, don't procrastinate. Everybody else spread apart. Give me a big grand plie and wiggle your head back. This week, the number called Glam is all about zombies. And after last week's travesty, I really need these girls to get it together. I need a win. The kids are busts on a statue. So it's like you have the long column and then you have their head sitting on top of it. It's a very cool effect. I hope the judges get it. Make sure you hit that back attitude, Paige. Go, 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 go. go Nia. More, Paige. It's not little, it's big, Paige. I don't think it's fair that Maddie was last in the pyramid. I'm pissed at Abby that she told Maddie she wasn't doing a solo and Maddie wasn't prepared. So Melissa, do you think that Maddie being at, and Mackenzie being at the bottom of the pyramid is because of you? I, I mean, like, my kids are always on the bottom of the pyramid because of things I did. <laughs> I know. And, you know, you're not getting along with Abby the best right now. Do you think that's why she's at the bottom of the pyramid? No. Everything's fine. Um, I mean, it's never going to be what it was because she doesn't need me anymore. She has someone else to take care of all of her business. I'm not working at the front desk anymore, actually, for Abby, because we did find someone to replace me, and I really don't have the time. I miss it terribly, and the people miss me. I get emails every day from people, um, but I just don't have the time. I don't think it has anything to do with me, to be honest with you. See, I don't agree with that. I, I really don't. don't. You don't? The reason she's at the bottom is because you didn't kiss her ass and do everything she wanted you to do last week. I'm getting so much slack from everybody that, you know, I always kiss your butt and everything. And So what's the issue? I don't do I, it I think you need to confront her more. I think Melissa has retired from her duties at the front desk because, um, frankly, she's made it quite clear that she doesn't need to work anymore. And I think that has caused a rift between her and Abby because Abby's used to Melissa being at her beck and call. Stand up for yourself. I gave that whole speech big, big. Paige is doing a solo this week, finally. She is doing Tongue Twister. Now, this is a number that she did a year ago, and we never actually finished it, and she never did it on stage. Face. You have the face. Use it. This week, my solo has a little bit of everything. Jazz, acro, gymnastics. I like this solo a lot. All right, get over there in the corner. Remember, you either make a fool out of yourself or you win. The option is up to you. Go. Brooke, let's see it. Oh, right there. Get in your feet. Get off your heels. Brooke has her work cut out for her this week. This solo is tough. Her routine is called Paint the Picture because she actually makes pictures with her body. She has one trick after another after another. So her stamina needs to be built up and she has to knock one out of the park. You're dismissed to have your mother meet me outside. Pronto. I want to talk to you. A couple things. Okay. First of all, Paige has a prop. She has the chair. The chair needs rubber stoppers on the bottom of it so that it doesn't move on her on stage. Okay. So I'm letting you take that chair home tonight, get whatever you need done to it, and make sure tomorrow she has it to practice with. The other thing I want to talk to you about is Brooke and the voice lessons. I want her to take from the woman that teaches here. I don't care what you've heard. I don't care if you like her or not. Brooke wants to sing, and I think Brooke does have a nice voice, but it's not about walking around and singing to your iPod. It's learning to read sheet music, learning your scales. Get a clue, momager. I manage her. You sign the piece of paper that I manage her, and I want to be able to hear and her. You manage her with dance. This is something I want to do with my daughter. I don't want it to have anything to do with Abby. And Abby's just so pushy. She just wants to be in charge of everything. Well, I don't think you know what you're doing. OK. If you want her to take a voice lesson here, I will do that. That's fine. But that I has nothing to, to do with you getting her this opportunity. Kelly, why do you act this way? I've been telling her. I told her 20 times in the last month. Why aren't you taking voice? Why aren't you taking voice? You want to do it? All right, then do it. When I say sing, sing. Um, yeah. 
All the kids leave and they run to get out of here. And my daughter, I have to drag her by the hair to, get, to leave. You know how that is. I know. Since I Maddie hasn't had a solo in two weeks, she really hasn't had that private time with anyone like the other girls have had. So I just wanted her to just have a little time with Abby and I keep her skill level up. She hasn't been dancing a lot this last week. Can she have a private with you tomorrow for an hour? An hour? Or whatever. I don't know if I have an hour. Oh, that's fine. Even half an hour. I don't care. But, you know, is. I have all the solo music for her. I have costumes drawn. I have ideas. But what? she does not have the confidence. She doesn't have the fire, even in a group dance. She was much better than everybody else. When Melissa approached me about teaching Maddie in private, I thought, you know what? This is my chance to get into Maddie's head and find out what's going on. Yes, absolutely. OK. okay. selected the Circus Circus music for Mackenzie and Nia's doing. Run, run, dive, go. Two, one, knee. Roll. My duet this week with Nia is an acro dance, and I'm really excited. And go. One, two. It's called Circus Circus. I love the circus. So Mackenzie is going to be the lion, and Nia will be the lion tamer. It's cute. They'll have fun doing it. When you sing C, you kind of got to get it in your nose a little bit. Abby is making me go to her voice teacher that she has teaching at our studio. And her name is Kathy. You have to open your mouth no matter how horrible it looks. Hey, there Hello. you are. Where have you been, miss? Oh, teaching. Oh, well, OK. How's teaching. she doing? I think she can sing as well as she wants to sing. That's nice to hear. Yeah. I've been telling Brooke 20 times in the last month I've said, Brooke, Take a voice lesson. All right, now, where's, didn't you write a song? Let's hear it. In that record, round and round, cause I can't get enough of that summer sound. Oh! We Thank you. You're welcome. Kelly, walk your kid 30 feet down the hallway. Take a voice lesson once a week. That's all I'm saying. All right. So you have to decide, and you tell your mother, this is what we're doing. Yes? Cause I don't want any mama jer ruining you. Okay, we gotta set up shop. Woo, fall like goodies. Abby assigned me a challenge of creating the costumes for the group dance. I think that Abby doesn't think I can do it. I refuse to give her the satisfaction of seeing me fail. Here are some images that I came up. Oh, I images. want my kids to wear the toe shoes. This week's number is all about these zombies returning from the dead. And they have to kind of like breathe life back into dance because apparently they're so boring when you watch them on stage, according to Abby. They don't look exactly like that, but they were the inspiration behind. We are going to stick together as a group, and we are going to make the costumes, and we're going to do them fabulous. I, I think once we dye it, then we need to get some like dark, sure, like sure, black right. and stuff and like put around like these yeah, edges. Sure. We are ripping costumes, we're cutting things up, we're distressing them. And then we just made some grass stains on them. We spent $20 on that dress. Kelly is taking all of her frustrations for Abby out on this poor little prom dress on the floor. She's like digging it into the dirt, like, I hate you, Abby. Oh my God! Ah! That looks distressed. Five, six, seven, go. One, Chloe, you're too slow. Energy, what are you doing? Come on! A hot pink effing rhinestone chair. <clears throat> I've heard it before. That's what I should have. I was so busy trying to get everything together to make these costumes. Which reminds me, you took care of your prop, right? It's good. It totally slipped my mind that I had to do all this work to Paige's chair. Oh, I was supposed to buy stoppers. Uh. Wow, that's great energy, Brooke. That one to make me get up and dance? Boring, yawning, sloppy, lazy. She's yelling at them because their facial expressions are not expressing energy. What does a zombie's facial expression look exactly. like? That's what I'm thinking. Like, yeah. they're dead. All right, solo, get your chair. Let's go. Paige needs her chair. Paige needs okay. her chair. OK, go. It's all done. You're 
just doing it now. Didn't you take that home last night? I told her to take the chair. As soon as the chair came into the room and I touched it, and I saw that my hands were black with marker, I knew right then and there her mother, Kelly, left the chair in the studio. Ding that. Oh, look, she's looking to see if it's. Where are the stoppers? I wanted these rubber stoppers. I'll have them for the competition. No stoppers. I mean, really, this is important. Kelly, do something. Done. <gasps> you, Abby. You don't need them for the competition. I told you to do it for today. But look at that language. Doesn't that embarrass you? That she has to use language like that? That's a, what a truck driver uses. Why would she do that she to Paige? The you're, you're finished. Next. Who's solo? Why are you punishing Paige? Abby should have left the room, came and spoke to me, and I would have explained to her why she had no stoppers on her chair. Because I was busy doing Abby Lee Miller's job, making her costumes. Oh, oh, look at Paige. That's fine. Okay? That's fine. Good luck making paying your bills without my tuition. I pay for costumes and props, and I don't get them. I've been here all day making costumes for you while you were down the road eating. Stop eating. That's why you're fat. Goodbye. You were a mean girl when you were 12. You're still a mean girl. I want to go home. We are. <laughs> Paige was frightened because Abby is a 400-pound woman and threw a chair with my daughter in the room. You can credit me for the rest of my tuition for the month. And rip off my credit card number. So I made an agreement with my girls that I would take them to the studio, but I was going to stay outside with the moms and do the costumes. I just did not want to argue with Abby. My kids want to go in and dance. Like, if I go in there, she's just going to fight with me. You so can I go in with you and Mia? I'll Kelly's walk the girls in. I think Kelly came back because she wants to prove to Paige and Brooke that you don't let your team down. I'm here because my kids want to be here. Hey, wait, wait. Paige, wait, don't let her upset you. Good thing they're children and they, like, don't know can anything. just forget about all this crap. Because I don't know, I have a hard time forgetting it. In rehearsal. I'm gonna let the kids do the dance. It's fine. We're good to go. Let's take the whole group. I got a lot oh, of wishes. Well, Claire and Mackenzie would have fun out here. I think it was nice for us to actually get outside and work on the costumes and get fresh air. I just think it was a nice change for us. Just because Abby's an ass, I wasn't going to screw the like, group. Or you guys, or, or whatever. I'm glad you stood up to her and went. Contestant number blank, Chloe with Unchained. Chloe's routine is called Unchained. It's very avant-garde, it's more of a jazz repertoire, and again, I think this is a good number for Chloe. Bessa! I think the style and the music and the personality and the attitude, and it's more like darker and mysterious. Stomach! It felt really good to be on the pyramid two weeks in a row, but it's a lot of pressure. Yes. It's good. Well, Kelly, I am not only happy to see you back and the girls back, but I'm also happy to see the costumes. We did some great work yesterday. <laughs> We're wrapping up. We've done just about everything we could possibly do to these costumes, and I'm feeling really good about them. You are the best team oh. ever. I feel like a zombie. OK, let's hurry up and get in there. It's really great that Maddie's going to be able to have a technique private. Plie flex, feet, feet. See that hip up, feet. 
I know that Melissa is worried about Maddie not doing solo. I know she cannot stand it that her kid is not the center of my attention. I get that. Seven, eight, stretch back through your shoulders, but I am not giving in. Maddie has to want it. You didn't have a solo last week. You don't have a solo this week. You need to have that fire back in you. You love to dance, and I know that. Of course, I started to cry because she loves Miss Abby. They do have this special thing. I never had that with a teacher. But ever since New Jersey and you exited that stage, you're not the same Maddie. I don't see that fire in you. You have to show us that you want it bad. You know that. Hey, Mom, please cry. <laughs> she loves to be here. You know that. You know, I love you. I know. And when those women say bad things about you, it hurts my heart, and it hurts Maddie's heart, too. And I just walked right out of the room. I was like, I'm embarrassed, so I need to leave. These mothers, the way they talk to you, I think it's awful how these kids disrespect you, too. Chloe rolls her eyes in class all the time. I know. I what know. I'm upset about is that Chloe leaves class early all the time. On Monday, she went to the doctors, and Kelly, Christy's so-called best friend, which they're not, called me and said, oh, Christy's taking Chloe out of school early today to take her to the doctors, and then she's taking her to the movies. Melissa, don't worry about these three mothers that don't know the right foot from the left. Who cares what they think? They're just jealous of our relationship, and they got to get over it. They, you know, it That has nothing to do with Maddie. I know that. But, but always remember, I have her best interests. You always have my daughter's Where did she go? She better be somewhere working on those feet and not playing around. So I get on the bus and no Kelly. Woo, hallelujah. Kelly can use her gas, her mileage. She just better get there. She better be there on time. And those kids better be well rested. Bus driver, where are you going? This is not the correct way. We're going to Energy Dance in Chicago, Illinois. You know, Chicago is the Midwest. It's a big city. There's lots of amazing schools that attend the competitions. So the girls need to come out with more energy, more enthusiasm, and more sass. It can't be all about zombies. Paige is on in 20 minutes. And she's not in here, she's not ready. And I can't find her anywhere. Maybe she She's is. not backstage. Paige is on in 20 minutes. And she's not in here, she's not ready. And I can't find her anywhere. She's not backstage. I don't know why Kelly, Brooke, and Paige aren't at the competition. I haven't had an opportunity to talk to Kelly because I'm busy getting Chloe ready, so I don't really know what Kelly's mindset is at this point. She should be in here warming up, preparing, ready to go on. My daughter's nine years old. She's not 18. She doesn't make her own decisions. And I'm going to speak for my daughter. So I pulled Maddie aside and had a little chat with her. Miss Abby, I really want to do my solo today. I want to show you how wonderful it is. Like, you know how Paige is, how she's like real perky? You can't walk out like this. You have to go in there perky, like you're perky Maddie self. Don't go in with this face. Remember that face? I always say, I hate that face, Maddie. Don't freak out, OK? You're fine. Happy. Turn it. My mom encouraged me to go talk to Abby and say I was ready to do a solo. Well, I'm totally confident, and I'm ready to compete. Can you please come in the hall with me? You want me to come out in the hall and run your number? No. You don't even have a number. Maddie asked if she could talk to me. Now, perfect example. That's a kid taking the initiative, asking an adult politely, can I speak with you? Sure. Are you ready? Yes. Can you beat everybody? I think. Well, you but you don't look. You're like, yes, I think yes. Maddie, if you don't want to do it, don't do it. Nobody cares. You act like someone's making you do it. I want to do my solo. I think I can do my solo. I'm ready to do my solo. Very wishy-washy. That's not a game face. That's not the Maddie face I know. The Maddie that's jumping and warming up, trying to psych Chloe out. You go out there with that face, she's going to beat the crap out of you. I think you don't want to dance because you think she's going to beat you. She wants to dance. She's just afraid of you. you don't know, talk are... for her. Well, I am talking. I'm her mom. Of course, without a beat, up comes Melissa. I mean, she's ready. She really wants to do this. Da -da 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 -da. I'm like, Phew. It's not about you, Melissa. 
It's not your decision. Stop with the tears. Babies cry, not you. Do you understand that? Yes. It's my dance company. I say who's dancing and who isn't. So I'm looking at this kid and I thought, you know what? Throw her out there. She needs to know if she comes to me and asks me for something, then it means business and we're going through with it. What I'm trying to do is enter Maddie. Okay. So I'm just letting you know that these two I haven't seen since we walked in the building. We're not going to scratch. Okay, we're gonna see so we need to add Maddie. I need right. you to enforce your rules. So if you call them and they're not here, and you call them again and they're not here, then they're an automatic scratch. Now, I registered Maddie. We put her in. No problem. We're good to go. No, because you have to run your solo. Here, Maddie's going to do her solo. It's, you know. When Melissa walks in and tells us that Maddie's now doing a solo, I thought, well, it's par for the course. I think Abby's greatest pleasure in life is to put Maddie and Chloe against one another, so this is obviously something planned. Get out there and show her how good you are and that you don't need your teacher to help you. Hello! We are dancing. I just didn't want to deal with Abby. I did not want to ride on a bus with her for that long. I haven't talked to her since we had our argument with the chair. I did not want to get my kids upset before they went on stage to perform. I'm looking all over the place. I turned just around. walked in the room two minutes ago. Better late than ever. Kelly and Abby have a very long history, and I think with that long history, there's a lot of tension. I think those tensions bubble up from time to time. It's awkward. Paige is running her solo in the green room, and Abby can't even have the decency to look up from her laptop. With Maddie doing her solo, Paige is just non-existent to Abby. And Paige knows it. Why is she dancing? Is she at our age? Why is Maddie dancing? Why is Maddie dancing? Yep. Watch. Nothing against you, Matt. I'm just saying they need to give my kids more time to. Oh, I agree. I agree. Nothing to do with you. I am just getting more and more pissed off. My girls were the ones that had solos this week. Abby should have been working with them all week instead of throwing chairs. Somebody looks nervous. You know, it was my girl's week. They finally got a solo. She needed to work with them, and she didn't. I'm done, and so are my daughters, and I am not letting them on that stage. I'm pulling their solos. Come on. Ago, warming up in her costume. Where is she? Judges, please skip ahead to entry number 42A for performing. Thank the pictures. Work and Paige don't show up. Once again, Abby Lee Miller looks like the jerk. Abby Lee Dance Company is tarnished, calling out their names and them not being there. Unprofessional. I'm thinking, she is really knocking this out of the park. She owns this stage. I just decided to stop 
second guessing myself and just go out there with confidence. And I did, and I thought I did really good. So I'm gonna try to do that every time. <laughs> but I'm more nervous for my solo because last time I did this solo, I forgot it. But I need to toughen up and show Miss Abby that I can be the same old Maddie. This is Maddie's performance in my heart. skips. My heart just goes into my throat. So I'm looking at that stage and I am like mental telepathy willing that kid stay out there. Don't move off that stage. a beat. It was a great way to come back after a catastrophe. My daughter's nine years old, and she handled herself like a professional on stage. She was amazing. I'm so proud of her. When I walked off, I was really pleased with myself because I just said to myself, I did it. I think it's a competitive thing between Maddie and Chloe. You always need somebody to threaten you, standing beside you, pushing your buttons. That's a good, healthy competition. Third place goes to entry number 51A, Unchained, Chloe from the Abby Lee Dance Company. Second place goes to entry number 58A, In My Heart, Maddie from the Abby Lee Dance Company. Maddie might not have gotten first place at the competition, but in Abby's eyes, she's the winner. So, what are you gonna do with the group dance? I don't know, you know, I did not have my kids dance because I do not wanna support Abby as a dance teacher. I didn't approve of the way Abby was treating my kids, and I did not want them to do the group number but I also want my kids to know that you can't let a group down. I don't want it to be that my kids screwed up the group. No. We are here to support them. Kids if you need them, I will allow them to dance as the group. I just want to support Kelly as a friend. Whatever decision she makes, I want to stand behind that. She's conflicted as a mom. What is the right decision? If that's your choice to have them not perform, then we will stand by you as your friends. They sat in that audience and watched your kids dance. and. I know all they wanted to do was go and do their dances. So I don't want to do it to them more. Abby is a grudge holder. And if Kelly pulls those kids from the group, it's just going to perpetuate this fight longer. This is Circus Circus. I can't wait.
wait till they do another duet. They were terrific. very proud of Mackenzie and I because we pulled that duet off in three days. It's time for the last number, the group number, and the group isn't complete without Brooklyn Page. So and I let the girls dance. I think they complete the group. Good ride. When I walked into the dressing room, I was thoroughly impressed. They looked like statues. Abby, what about this photo of blood? I've well, never made blood before. I think, honestly, that Abby expected me to fail. I don't think she thought I could pull this off. And I surprised her. Listen to me. When you step out there, I want you to look like somebody turns you on. Let's give me 150% energy. Let's suck those judges in, and let's win. Sick and tired of being top five. Let's be on top. Please welcome to the stage entry number 135A. This is Glam. that our girls did on stage. The acting was great, the makeup, the costumes, everything just came together. was great in the group dance this week. I don't think Abby's gonna have any complaints about that. Okay, we are moving on to our final division, which is our energy division. The top scores in our energy division. The top score going to entry number 75A for Circus Circus, the Abby Lee Dance Company. Mia and Mackenzie won first place for Circus Circus, and I'm like, yes, they won. <laughs> In our Energy Junior small group, we have a top three. Third place goes to entry number 69, Say My Name, from Innovation. Our second place top score goes to entry number 119, I Got You, Impact Dance Studio. Top scoring Energy Junior small group goes to entry number 135A, Glam, Abby Lee Dance Company. The costume, the makeup, the choreography, it all worked together. We are back on top. Good job, ladies. Thank you. Good job, Holly. Thank good. you. It's at the end of the competition day, and things are winding down. And I'm just wondering what it is that Abby's going to say to me. I know that she's mad at me for pulling their solos. God only knows what's going to come out of her mouth. Maddie and Brooke, go with Gia to mm -hmm. get your stuff washed off. I look over at Kelly, and I can tell that brain is just tick, tick, ticking. Uh, I mean, for once, it's actually working. She's trying to come up with some excuse, some reason for her kids not to perform their solos. But you know what? I've had it. It's time to call her out and let her know who's boss. I'm disappointed that my kids didn't get to do their solos today, but I'm glad they did the group. I thought it turned out good. I think they would have done fabulous. But we'll never know. No, we won't. I saw them in their costumes. They were, they were here, ready to go. 
Everybody else ran theirs 10 times and had an extra day of practice on it. That's not fair. My daughter is not gonna go on stage and forget her dance again and look like an ass because you made her feel flustered. You didn't have time to run your dance? What is this run your dance crap? If you don't know it by the time you get to the venue, you're not gonna know it. What else do you want me to do? I was ready. I was here to play ball. I tell you to put stoppers on a chair and paint it black. Put stoppers on a chair and paint it black. Don't blame me and pass the buck on to everybody else. You screwed up, like you always do. Quit enabling them. I want kids that want to dance. I want kids that want to be here. And if your kid isn't one of them, cut your losses, break your studio contract, and go. And Kelly, I was the first one at the hospital when your husband ran over your kid's foot. I was in the hospital room hugging your kid. And now you say those things about me, how dare you? Your kid doesn't want to dance. They're lazy and they don't like to lose.